thought I was filming, but I'm not, so. Do the quick run through. That's the front door. The piano room, beautiful. I think she said Eisenhower, Eisenhower? Who's Mamie? Mamie Eisenhower's piano? Downstairs room, full fireplace, 14 foot ceiling, beautiful lighting, huge king size bed. Bathroom that is accessible by this room here, which has one bedroom, a little walkway, another bedroom, and a bathroom. Nothing too crazy, but nice. Another bedroom? Yes. Another one of the rooms here in the back. Bathroom back there. And somebody's in there. That's the Beautiful room here. The beds. Amazing. Little sitting room on the second floor by the window. You get the entire building, so for the full weekend is ours. front corner, top left corner of the house. Okay, this is the quiet room. It's got a separate little entrance. I like this room. My favorite bed. Look at that. Tiniest bathroom, though. Okay, and then there's the top 
upstairs, which is a room up top that has two stories to it. So, top floor. space and this goes up to the widow's walk which is air conditioned and super funky I have a feeling a couple of my buddies and I will be spending some quality time up here kicking it pre and or post nuptials. Okay, so kind of the abbreviated version. Back down to the main floor. Lori, what do you call this room here? The great room? The, oh, we the, front, parlor. the front parlor. Okay. Which is gorgeous. So under 100 people we can have cocktail hour in the house. Over it will be outside the house. If you go through, you can see the pocket doors are really cool. Beautiful. Forgive me. I'm just gonna. Got the video rolling here. Kind of get a gander. Move out there. Oh, let's go in here first. It's the bar area. Indoor. Nice little sitting deck. Patio. This is amazing. One of my favorite parts here is this deck. Rose gardens for a cocktail hour. Big spruce trees. I think they're spruce trees. Here, this is the rose garden. There's a little entrance way. There's the tent. Wonderful little fountain. Reminds me of home a little. Just a spectacular place. There's that widow's walk up there. All right, so walk back towards the main building. And it's about 85, 90 degrees today and I'm not even breaking a sweat. Here's the tent, tent facilities, sitting area around the tree, the building. Tent is enormous, 50 by 50. Plenty of room for all the people we need. 
150 to 200, I believe she said it's possible. Tent with those lights, 50 by 50 comes in the entire package. And there's water back there, and the water is probably where the ceremony will be. This, depending on how we use it, is like a legitimate old barn that can be used instead of the tent if we have a hundred people or less for the actual reception if we wanted, but I think we're going to have more than a hundred and a hundred people. So there's the tent, and then you can see the barn from in here. Wide wood floors. Very cool. So if we wanted to bring them out here for a band later in the evening, we could do that. There's a bar. All three of these doors open wide into the deck. Looks like they've got everything you need. She said she does. Little sitting area. It's maybe a getting ready spot. See the swans out there in the water. This is probably where we'll have the ceremony, right by the water. Two swans live here. Okay, and she said that literally she could put 200 people in chairs out here for an actual ceremony. Maybe more. Not that we'd need that, but. Beautiful trees, great coverage from the sun, so it won't be blistering hot. Oh, there's the swan, that's pretty. All right, off to go put some money down. I wonder if that's a, that trumpeter is because of the trumpeter swan. Does that makes sense. The trees are enormous. Nice little spot there. Nighttime with the tiki torches. This place is going to be lit up well. It's going to be a party.